WW5 has started, everybody's going around, everybody's juicing, we got Xbox YouTubers talking about it, we also have PlayStation YouTubers, everybody's kind of mad, we got the homie Dreamcast guy, yesterday was his birthday, we also had bad Xbox news, and he ended up dropping quadruple videos, Bruh. a quadruple upload, he did a quadruple upload, because it's like Christmas, right, whenever we have bad Xbox news, but <laughs> because you're not gonna believe this holy crap, what the actual hell is going on in gaming like the video first of all if you don't want to see strong stunning independent video game characters in gaming just like the video if this is what you want but this is not about that okay so the verge apparently came on uh wait for the climax here, okay microsoft is considering increasing the price of game pass oh, shit. yeah oh, shit. internal debate whether to put call of duty into game pass or not they are cur currently like debating and charlie intel also uh, made a bunch of reports on it because right now they're thinking about it and, and they're also thinking if we put it on the game pass we might lose a couple of billions right because call of duty makes approximately a billion within 30 days to 60 days okay that's a lot of money and uh, uh yeah with the microtransactions and whenever a new game comes out it makes a ton more right growing discontent and fear among xbox employees about what comes next because a lot of the xbox devs right now they're uncertain because you never know right phil spencer says gaming for everybody but behind the scenes he, he loves shooting around he likes to ta -ta 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 -ta. first of all check this roll it Oh boy. Well, hi gamers, it's Dreamcast Guy, and today we're going to be talking about the newest Xbox mess, because I think we can all agree that Microsoft completely sucks, despite yeah. the fact that they have spent nearly $100 billion on video game acquisitions, buying studios big and small, Microsoft True. still continues to not actually Dang. put out games, or when Man, they- Man, this is absolutely wild. They only buy studios to fire them, and in fact, not even just fire them, but shut them down. <laughs> Imagine like spending money to buy studios first, you fire them, everybody's firing everybody, right? Like Sony PlayStation, they fired a couple of devs as well, I believe approximately 900, so not a couple, I mean, bro, on my part, right? But like, what the actual hell is going on right now, bro? We have massive drama every week and it's not to release them, they don't even try to actually get them attention, to get them hyped, uh -oh. to get them bought. I want to discuss the entire mess with Hellblade 2 because I feel like you can see that Microsoft has given up. Xbox is just a dead brand. Let's discuss. Hi, I hope you're having a good day. If you could give this video- I'm not having a good day right now. I'm not having a good day right now. Also, uh, Xbox responded by saying that this month we will be playing and quickly after Skizzle, uh, oh my bad. Th that's me, you guys. If you guys got Twitter, uh, I would love, definitely love to have you on Twitter. Recently, uh, I have begun taking begun taking training for Taekwondo to become strong and independent. Yeah, so I can potentially beat up this dude in Fable when Fable drops. Okay, so like the video and let's actually get right and into like the drama. And like and subscribe if you haven't yeah, already. Yeah, like and subscribe. So right? I'm going to be actually taking a look. A lot of Xbox fan accounts, people that actually run Xbox podcasts or typically, they're people I would consider to be professional fans where they care about this. I'm not claiming these people are fakers, but they're people that definitely are incentivized to cheerlead xbox and a lot of them have been asking where is the conversation where is the hype for the next big budget xbox exclusive that right now it's just dead silence hellblade 2 is supposed to be the major xbox console exclusive seller like they showed trailers of this when they revealed the xbox it is that freaking big of a deal and yet now just dead silence everybody yeah. is straight up saying hey hellblade 2 drops in 14 days Great. what no, say you swear to God, though. Pretends to be shocked. Pretends to be shocked. Now, genuinely, uh, of course, I knew about this game, but it's dropping in 14 days? What? Okay, yeah, I, I guess they're not marketing too much, right? And I also figured, yeah, so Cole Eastwood also responded. Now it makes sense because I was like, yo, why is Cole Eastwood mad about it, right? So they were not marketing this sucker. And apparently it's coming out on May 21st. And Cole Eastwood says, that, here's your Xbox game marketing and image we've already seen 1,000 times for the past month. This is crazy, bro. Xbox, y'all need to, y'all suckers need to wake up, though. It's like Sony make a mess up, right? And everybody was saying this a week ago, right? Like, hey, Sony, you just needed to stay silent. Right now, Xbox is winning, bro. You just needed to stay silent. What I mean by this is that they messed up with the Helldivers 2 situation, right? Making everybody link their PlayStation Network account. So that happened. Everybody forgot about it. 
Stick is up, forgot about that. Now people are saying, yo, Xbox, stay silent, bro. You had the perfect opportunity to win this. But nah, man, y'all suckers had to shut down the studios, okay? And the the insane part here is that apparently Charlie Intel came out, right? Oh, that's me, my bad. Uh, Charlie Intel came out, uh, and, 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 and yeah, this is the one. Bloomberg is reporting that Xbox is still not done cutting costs and that more cuts are on the way. Yeah, yeah, guys, uh, uh, gaming for everybody, guys, gaming for everybody. Plenty of time for Xbox to shut that studio down. Okay. This is the major reason I wanted to talk about this, is uh -oh. because I, I saw this vague tweet this morning, and I feel like it's absolutely perfect. If a great okay. game did not meet sales expectations, wouldn't that be a reflection on the marketing and not the developers? If a game is coming out in two weeks and no one knows about it, wouldn't that be a reflection of the marketing and not the developers? This is a perfect tweet in my opinion, because this is kind of a big issue specifically with Microsoft. Sony and Nintendo understand the importance of cheerleading yourself, of saying, hey, here's the next state of play. So the game is coming out 14 days from now, and now people are finding out that, oh yeah, it's coming out, that's crazy. Like, they, they should have just told us about the release date a year ago, right? Like, yeah, it's gonna be coming out on May 21st, or maybe perhaps they did, but what I'm getting from this one is that people forgot, people did it, hell, even I didn't know, I'm just finding out right now, right, today, that apparently the game is coming out in 14 days from now. Pretends to be shocked. Here's an Nintendo Direct, here's what we're working on in six months. Microsoft flat out does not care about marketing. They don't care about sales. They don't care. These companies just keep dropping games, some of them good and some of them bad, and they're just being completely shocked when nobody freaking buys it or nobody signs Crazy, up to Game man. Pass. Like, think about the fact that Starfield, yeah, okay, Starfield probably got a lot of inspells and downloads, but how many people signed up for Game Pass to play Starfield. How many people bought Starfield? And that's perhaps one of the most marketed Xbox games of the last 10 years. And even that is pretty much crickets. Microsoft is in this weird spot where they're buying studios and then just closing them before they even get a chance to put stuff out. Literally, they have had more studio closures than oh they've had game God. releases. No, I'm going to go a step further. I'm not just going to say, how is that possible? Man, this is insane. So check this out, okay? Yeah, apparently Ben from Video Tech comes out. He is the most, uh, yeah, your trusted hub for all Rockstar Games news. So says that Xbox is hitting a new low for this. What the actual? Ah! Jason responded by saying this. In a town hall, uh oh, okay, you guys are not able to see. Let me actually do this. In a town hall this morning, Xbox president Matt Boot, hey! And Zenimax head of studio Jill Breath said that the division had been spread too thin and suggested that Arcane and Tango were shuttered in part because they were pitching new games that were years away. Like, bro, you really cannot make this up. Like,. So you're saying they were pitching new games, okay? New games that were years away. Obvious, obviously, it's gonna take them some time to make some new games, damn it. And, and Phil Spencer, or I'm not sure who, uh, I guess it's easier to say Phil Spencer. Nobody knows who, who is firing who right now. But Phil Spencer be staying tall, saying gaming, gaming for everybody, gaming for everybody. But apparently, the uh, this is both hilarious and sad. It's like, they are pitching new game. Basically, they wanted to make Hi-Fi Rush 2 because Hi-Fi Rush was successful, right? So they pitched this idea to Xbox saying that dog, we're making it. Here's the idea, but but it's gonna take us some time, damn it. It's gonna take some years. No, nope, you get fired. You get fired right now. How dare you say it's gonna take a few years? And they ended up getting bumble cut. This is truly insane, and people are not stopping, man. The replies are, the replies, I mean, don't even like load right now. So, all right, let's get back to the. How is here. this legal? Like, how are there not laws that you could just buy a company and then shut it down. It is baffling to me that this isn't somehow some sort of like anti-consumer trust. Like this feels like something that seems anti-consumer. Like why are you able to even shut down Arcane or Tango Gameworks? Why is some random Dang. trillion dollar Dang. software company yes. straight up poisoning the industry instead of making games, which was the original mission, right? Like everybody is still in a spot uh -oh. where they're actually shocked. What? Freaking Hellblade 2 is coming out in two weeks. Did someone at Xbox forget they have a major upcoming game? I've seen 
no buts literally worried about ninja theory now ninja Dang. theory is great they do so it looks like that most people just weren't aware that it's coming out uh, in 14 days so i suppose like they didn't announce or they didn't confirm the date like a year ago right they should have just said that yeah it's coming out on yeah in, or six months ago they could have said that and, and today people figured out that it's coming out in 14 days and there was a lot of fuss about it like seconds were saying that bro like where's uh you're, you're telling us now that it's coming out where was the marketing where is the marketing at and now it makes a whole lot of sense so today a lot of people made fuss about it people got mad and then xbox is like well uh, it's coming out uh, may 21st and then cole eastwood xbox youtuber an image we've already seen 1000 times holy crap like bruh like this is just how are you guys supposed to then like uh, like if you feel what i'm saying how you guys are supposed to get seconds to play <laughs> your game damn it how market the game Market the game, right? And we about to get like Black Ops 6 as well, right? Call of Duty. Damn, bro, damn. You make good games. And so I completely agree with the sentiment of like, okay, if I'm supposed to be here, I'm at my desk, I'm making games, I'm trying my best, I'm showing up, I'm staying late, I care about the project, but then the people up at the top don't want to pay the money to have a commercial made or do some skits or do some interviews with the freaking actors and directors. Why even try if your studio is going to get shut down by some executive who never even played the game? I have heard rumors. I haven't been able to verify those, this myself. I heard that Phil Spencer played Hi-Fi Rush less than one hour. Uh, apparently he has a public Xbox Live account. You can no. see the games he's playing. He plays a lot of Fallout 76. <gasps> Hi-Fi Rush is one of the best Xbox games ever. It, it completely freaking cleaned up last year. Everybody loved it. The studio got shut down. And I guess I'm extra annoyed that the guy whose job it is to buy studios and shut them down doesn't even play the games. Oh no. Okay. I so he played for one hour only? Bumbokla. Bumbokla. <laughs> you know. No way. No way. One hour only. But, but maybe, maybe, maybe he was playing like, um, uh, Starfield gaming for everyone guys gaming for everyone man. I actually want to pull up this specific tweet because I do have a feeling but but here's the thing though one hour is still 60 minutes in Africa Bruh. Though. you know, feel what I'm saying and 60 minutes in Africa is one hour here in the West like the video like 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 the video if these are facts guys like like the video if these are facts and before we get down to the climax guys real quick want to say i have a second channel yeah on this channel we upload ufo content conspiracy content every single day the link should be in the pinned comment along with my other youtube channels instagram and twitter as well all right let's get back down to the content now boo boo it's probably going to get deleted. I have a feeling it's going to vanish. So I wanted to look at it before it gets a chance to okay. disappear. This is okay. a digital sculptor okay. and cinematic character creature artist for Blizzard. So this is a Microsoft employee. And I have played a lot of Blizzard games, specifically Diablo. I have almost 600 hours in Diablo 4. Yeah, I'm not exactly proud about that. I'm hopelessly addicted to it. But it's interesting when he said this. It's getting bad. I literally have dreams that my whole team, including myself, are getting laid off, <laughs> only to wake up and the entire studios under my parent company are getting dismantled. That's Somehow wild. I'm still here. Living in constant fear is the worst. Before there was imposter syndrome making us feel like this, but this is something- Yeah, this is this is r getting really, really insane. Gamers are getting pounded, of course, right? We're getting dicked down heavily right now with crazy microtransactions, unfinished games, the woke bull squash as well, agendas, identity politics, this and that, games coming out incomplete at launch, games being bad at launch, devs uh, not treating gamers right, but also that some of the devs are not getting treated right uh, by these publishers, by Sony, Microsoft, uh, the higher-ups at their studios. So, uh, yeah, right? So the work culture is really, really getting bad. It it's like the devs are getting pounded, gamers getting pounded, everybody's getting, like, digged down left and right. And, and yeah, I, I mean, uh, the if you're a dev right now, you and you're, like, a good dev, right? Like, you you you're passionate about your work, you want to make a good game. You don't even know when you can get fired. Like, you don't even know when it's your last day at the work. Sometimes, and it's crazy that I'm saying this, but more often than not, these devs have went on record and they said that I didn't even know I was fired. I just found out through a YouTube video. 
<laughs> yeah, I, I found out that I got fired because somebody made a post, whether that be Jason Schreier, whether that be Charlie until IGN or what what have you, right? So there have been so many devs that actually said that, bro, I didn't even know I was fired. I just figured it out through like a video or through a post. So that goes to show you like how bad it's getting. And a lot of people are also wondering, the, because nobody knows the real reason why they're firing. Yeah, uh, initially everyone was like, okay, yeah, bad apples, bro, bad apples, man, some bad devs, bro, woke devs, woke devs, this, that, like, bad devs. Maybe it's true, maybe some devs were let go because they were not talented, or maybe, uh, I also would like to believe that uh, they didn't need that many people, so they're like, okay, it's not a charity after all. I, I understand that concept, I understand that, but, but like, I also understand the opposition. Um, Microsoft, three trillion dollars. They got more money than God right now, Bruh. damn it! They make a lot more money than God right now, bro. Obviously, that's a metaphor. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm religious as well. I'm a believer in God. I believe in God. But, but like, uh, so don't get mad right now. Because uh, I saw a comment. Somebody got mad. It's a metaphor, okay? Which means that they got so much money. They got the F you money. They have so much of it. Bruh, like, these things spend a hundred billion dollars on Activision, Bethesda, and buying other studios. And they're shutting them down as well. Who does that? Who does that? Who does that? Yeah, right? Imagine you bought a studio for, or a bunch of studios for a hundred billion dollars only to shut them down right after. Obviously, you're not gonna do it. You're buying it to make profit, right? And reports are also coming out right now that apparently uh, Xbox is really not making the profits. The, the biggest, uh, uh, apparently Activision is the only one that's making them a lot of money right now. So for them, uh, Activision, buying Activision was a very, very good thing. So act, because of Activision Blizzard, because of this buyout, they're making a ton of money, which is good for them. But outside of that, Game Pass is not sustainable, is what we're hearing. And this is why they're now debating whether they want to put Call of Duty on Game Pass or not. They're currently talking about also in talks of increasing the price of Game Pass, which we all saw coming in. I also talked about it here and there, which was speculation from my part. I always let you know when it's speculation and in my opinion and yeah in my opinion i said it a, a while ago and you saw that coming it's just logical right we're seeing the writing on the wall games eventually are gonna be 80 dollars then 90 then a hundred dollars right it's probably gonna take some time but eventually they're gonna be hundred dollars guys yeah come on I, I mean you know that deep down so prices might increase yeah i saw that coming Truly, we're living in a big gaming depression right now. No games, but gaming drama every single week, damn. Something we can try and control. Now this, we can't do anything about. Doesn't matter how good your team is or how bad your team is, you can be doomed by an arbitrary decision. It sucks that it's just so unsettling for everybody. I feel for you. This is... Why, why do you think they are firing devs? I, I wanted to talk, maybe I forgot to bring this up. Uh, some people are also saying because of AI. Makes sense though, maybe, yeah, this is how it is. And five, ten years from now, a lot more jobs would be cut, not just in gaming industry, but like generally speaking as well. My god, they are also like AI YouTube channels as well. So it's kind of Joe over for a lot of us here, folks. In my opinion, this goes beyond toxic. I think that Xbox is making an actually negative effect on the entire gaming industry. I genuinely think that it does not just come down to making good games anymore. I think that they have created this. Uh, genuinely worried about Ninja Theory now, given that Hellblade 2 is quite a niche proposition and it won't sell much due to being on Game Pass. And with Microsoft saying they will focus on high impact franchises, oh no, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> so people are already uh, speculating. I, I I don't blame people, first of all. I get where this gentleman is coming from, right? Kind of makes sense, right? Uh, they don't market the game, and then it, obviously it's not going to sell that well. And it's a niche game. You're not marketing the game. People don't even know it's coming out. And it's a niche game, like he's saying once again, right? Uh, and yeah, genuinely, even if they market, it's not going to sell that well. But still, if you market, it's going to sell! It's gonna still sell somewhat, right? And if and if the game is really, really good, word of mouth is gonna spread. And you never know, man. You might get like a lot of people like flooding in. Uh, essentially, this is how Helldivers started. This is how Fortnite started, right? Regardless whether you like Fortnite or not, I don't play Fortnite. Uh, I don't like it. I also don't hate it though. Whenever I, I. I try it out i actually kind of have fun uh playing the game but you, you you know what i mean right so fortnite in the beginning hell divers in the beginning 
people were like, yeah, whatever, but uh, they played, they liked it, shared with their homies, talked about it, and then the game blew up, word of mouth got spread. So you never know, it might happen with this game, if, if uh, of course, it's not gonna happen with every game, but given if the game is good, then it surely can, but they don't Oro wanna Boros, try. This cyclical nature of they buying stuff, hoping it immediately becomes profitable, and if it doesn't, destroying it for the tax write-off. This is insane. Ninja Theory are talented, active, badass people that are clearly passionate. The first Hellblade game is a freaky masterpiece. I mean, playing it with headphones is a truly once in a lifetime experience. Anybody who remembers my review from back when that came out, I actually did multiple videos breaking down the plot, talking about the ins and outs of how subtle the design and architecture and world they I don't remember that. <laughs> this is my gameplay from my review back in 2017. It created was, okay. and the fact that these people have finally had a chance to make a big budget sequel and Microsoft doesn't care. Why are you even paying to make a game that you're not going to push, that you're not going to scream from the rooftops? I actually tweeted this out and I want to show it here just because people are kind of ragging on it a bit. But I said this, I'm not trying to be snarky, but there is a massive Xbox game dropping in two weeks that has zero marketing. This will probably be awesome, but why is Xbox not screaming it? Hype your bangers. There's something I feel like Nintendo and Sony do very well. And it's not just advertising, it's allowing people to kind of discover stuff. The PlayStation friggin' ecosystem, the Nintendo ecosystem. I, I feel like right, indies right. find a place to bloom there. You guys think that this is like Sony Pony soya sauce, or you guys think that he's spitting facts, he's spitting facts. I wanna know where you guys are. Because Nintendo does indie directs. Sony is not afraid to constantly tweet out little spotlights of different PlayStation indies to put stuff onto their service and then advertise the heck out of it. Xbox... The, okay, the, uh, you, you know what, like, yeah, but I think PlayStation, Sony, this is one of those things, right? When you're like an underdog, by no means Sony is not big. Sony is big. They are humongous as well. They are in the top list of uh, publishers, right? And PlayStation is super big. PlayStation, of course, it's bigger than Xbox. Uh, they do double, sometimes triple the numbers in terms of like console sales. Yeah, right. Absolutely, they do that. But when I, what I mean by this is that Sony is still so small in comparison to Microsoft. PlayStation is bigger than Xbox, but Sony as a whole is smaller than the entirety of Microsoft, right? So Sony and PlayStation, they PlayStation is their money maker, right? They movies and PlayStation, right? That's their big money maker, and they really have to make sure that they don't fumble the bag. And this is why I think like they bent the knee and, and Thankfully, I'm not giving Sony any credit for that uh, dog. Like, if uh, they had the option to not, they probably would have taken that option. What I mean by this is that Helldivers 2, everybody came together. Everybody voiced their opinion. Shout out to you if you did as well. Because it's some bull squash, right? It's bull squash. It's bull crap. So everybody voiced their opinion. And then they bent the knee. Had it been people didn't talk about it, you'd think they would? Absolutely not. So they probably saw a refund coming in like a tsunami, right? They saw a lot of people like uh, canceling. They saw m m a loss, loss of money, and they also have their investor call happening on the on May 14, I believe. So they really had no choice but to bend the knee. R they had no choice. Microsoft, on the other hand, they got the f you money, three trillion dollars plus. So if they lose money here and there doesn't really matter i mean think about it this way right a hundred billion dollars a lot of money sony is like hundred some billion <laughs> it's a lot of money I, can a brother get two pennies can a brother get two pennies it's a lot of money guys but what i'm trying to say here is that hundred billion for sony that's almost their entirety okay like the hundred billion that's like the entirety of sony it's hundred billion plus but but still right like that's a lot of money for them but for Microsoft, bro, like 100 billion versus 3 trillion, that's like just a bucket. That's just a bucket of, uh, uh, from the sea. That's just a bucket of water from the sea that they got. The sea being 3 trillion. So they got, they make a lot of paper, guys. But check out this video on the screen. I'm not sure if you guys were able to catch it on time or not. Yeah, this clip is also going around. Not sure if you guys were able to see it or not. On the left, this video is on my second channel. Yay, second channel, guys, second channel. Check out both of these videos. We got a ton of drama here, and I'll see you right there.